We find ourselves back on the ramparts to discuss our next topic, macrophages. And it's a fitting choice, since macrophages are the sentinels, or the night watchmen of the immune system. They patrol our bodies on the lookout for invaders. Hopefully by now you remember that our recurring symbol for the macrophage is this macrocage guy. But we're going to get a little more detailed in this lesson, and in fact there are two types of macrophages. Those that are descended from monocytes, and those that aren't. This first guy we've drawn in is wearing a monocle to symbolize that he was directly derived from a monocyte. These monocyte-derived macrophages can be distinguished from non-monocyte-derived macrophages by their CD14 cell surface marker. And so we'll have him marking out a fortnight here. Get it? 14 is two weeks, which is a fortnight. See, we don't just teach you science here at Sketchy. As opposed to monocyte-derived macrophages, non-monocyte-derived macrophages are derived from embryological structures. So we've drawn in a baby-faced macrocager without a monocle to remind you of this. Some examples of these types of macrophages are Kupfer cells in the liver and alveolar macrophages in the lungs, which we've denoted with this little man's lung vest and liver bag. Oh, and looks like they got into a little tiff, probably over some key differences between them. Our monocle-wearing macrocager is holding up a bloody tissue to his nose to remind you that monocyte-derived macrophages circulate as monocytes in the blood and then get recruited to sites of injury or inflammation, where they transform into macrophages once they've arrived in the tissue. That's in contrast to non-monocyte-derived macrophages, which arise and live out their days solely in tissues. It's time to hug it out, you two, and remember what you have in common. And what they do have in common is that they both do all their important work in tissue, regardless of where they came from.